I'm gonna do an, another section. All right, so so now you've built your website. You got the front end built. Everything looks good, and you're happy with your website. And uh, now you want to uh, transfer it to a live server. All right. So what we're gonna do? Um, the first thing uh, we're gonna do is go to up updraftplus.com. Okay. Um, now uh, this does cost a little bit of money, but I'm just gonna go through the video. And after you watch the video, you can decide if you want to purchase it or not. Um, I, I decided to purchase it just because um, it did make it very easy to migrate my website. And um, I'm not so crazy about using some of these other plugins that might or might not do the job as it's a very delicate process because you're transferring your website and you're dealing with your server now and you don't want things to like break and just have this whole mess where you have to kind of clean up stuff. Uh, because the plugin didn't work or didn't migrate your website the proper way. So uh, Updraft, Updraft Plus has worked really well for me, um, and so I recommend it. It's $30 for the plugin, uh, but I'll go through this process and then I'll show you at the end how to, you know, where to get it and how to do all that stuff. <clears throat> so the first thing we do is we go to updraftplus.com because we want to get a plugin. All right, so we go to, um, let me see, I think it's here. Um, and I should probably, let me type in updraft plus, um, download. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to put this link in the video, uh, right below the video. So you know where to download it, but basically you go here, uh, to this link, um, and then under step two, it says you will need to download the updraft plugin to your computer by following this link. Just click the link and it's going to download. And then, um, you know, you can leave it in your downloads folder or, um, you know, put it, put it in your WordPress, um, or in a folder that you can have easy, easy access to it. I'm actually going to put it, um, oops. Um, right over here in my sites folder. Um, I don't really really like to put um, more files in my uh, where is it in in my uh, WordPress folder. I, I like to just leave this like this and not putting put any more files in there. So I put it in a in a folder like um, a few folders back. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so now we have the Updraft Plus plugin. And again, I'll put a link to that in, in uh, right below this YouTube video. All right, so we want to install the plugin. So we go to plugins, we go to add new. Oh, and uh, yeah, here's another step. If if you find that your computer uh, automatically extracts um, the plugin, what you want to do is compress it again, because uh, you you know to upload a plugin, it needs to be in a zip format or something similar. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to compress updraft plus. All right, so now I have the zip file. All right, very good. And I'm going to upload plugin. I'm going to choose file. I'm going to go to my sites folder and this zip file here. I just double click it and then install now. And then I'm going to activate plugin. All right, so now you can see updraft plus backup restore is now um, it's now all set. It's it's uh, installed on my WordPress uh, installation. Uh, so if we go to settings and right here under settings, we see Updraft Plus backups, and perfect. Okay, so here's an, uh, the next step. The next step is to add your Dropbox. Uh, I work with Dropbox, so the next step is to add Dropbox uh, to your um, Updraft Plus backup and restore. So if you go to settings. Uh, and then over here, copying your backup to remote storage, it says choose your remote storage. I'm going to pick Dropbox and then click Save Changes and then go back to Settings. And then after you have saved your settings by clicking Save Changes below, then come back here once and click, yeah, come back here once and click this link to complete authentica authentication with Dropbox. So I'm going to click there and it's going to take me to Dropbox. And then I'm going to click allow. 
if you're not logged into Dropbox, you have to log in and then click uh, allow. I think it's better to, to be logged into Dropbox and then you can do these these steps. All right, so now I can back up this website and it's gonna put the files in my Dropbox. Uh, there are five uh, zip files that it puts into the Dropbox and I'll show you those in a second. All right, so I just click uh, back up now and um, just don't click on anything on any of these because uh, you want to include all of this all the information so just leave you know these unchecked uh, unless you know what you're doing then you can look at these but for the most part just leave it unchecked and then click uh, backup now and then it runs through a backup okay so after the backup is completed, it says the backup apparently succeeded and is now complete. Um, and it gives you the date and uh, all that. Uh, and then it, it can, and then you can download the most recently modified log file. Okay. Um, so the next step is to go to your Dropbox folder. I'm just going to go up here to my Dropbox and open. And then I'm going to go to Apps. It's called Apps in your Dropbox. Uh, you just click on Apps, then Updraft Plus. And then just look for um, the files that say test site. Um, so there should be five. Um, there should be uploads, themes, uh, plugins, others, and uh, just a straight um, uh, zip file that, or you know .gz file that says uh, test site. Um, so there's five, and I'm going to select those five. Um, actually, first. I'm going to go back to my sites folder, create a new folder, call it uh, backup uh, test site. Okay. I'm going to double click it. Um, yeah, and just, there we go. So now I'm in my backup test site folder. And I'm just going to drag these five files that I'll say test site. Um, and they're my backup from Updraft Plus, And just select them all and drag them to the backup test site. All right. And then I'm just gonna, oops, not new folder, move to trash, and just name. All right, there we go. All right, so we have our website. This is the backup of our website created with Updraft uh, Plus backup. All right, so now the next step um, is, yeah, the next step is to go to our live server. So you need web hosting for this. Uh, if you don't have web hosting and, and a domain, um, I recommend, uh, <coughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to add a marker. 